welcome to the studio. Artist Doug Pexa here, and I am sitting in one of the states that has stay at home provisions right now. Day two, so it's Sunday, um, March, what's the date today? 29th. So exciting news. I am starting to use my brand new camera that I got the other day, but that's a whole nother story. I hope it works out and uh, it looks good. Um, I see that everything is cool and blurry in the background and uh, looks like I'm in focus, so I guess that's good. Uh, I don't want to beat around the bush today. Uh, I want to do a painting. I'm going to do a painting of a mushroom again. Yes. I know I said I'm not going to do another mushroom painting for a while, but, uh, well, you know, I like to paint mushrooms. I'm going to do kind of a stylized um, Amanita Mascara. Um, it's kind of based off of a uh, sketch I did in my sketchbook a while back. Do I have my sketchbook in here? No. I'll pop that image up just so you can see it. But just to prove I don't do just mushrooms. There, there, there. But I do a lot of mushrooms. So let's get into it. Uh, I am going to do a little uh, vloggy thing at the end, just to give everybody a little heads up what I've been doing uh, during this corona bullshit. And uh, I hope you stay safe and healthy. So, let's get, let's get those paints out and let's do some painting because, man, I've been slacking. All right. Welcome to the voiceover. So, the thought on this mushroom, mushroom and mascara, is to be kind of simple, kind of graphic, but not overly graphic. So, I really wanted to lay down some simple blocks of color over the pre-colored um, coaster. It's a coaster painting, so one of those guys uh, see one of my videos in the past called Painting on Unusual Surfaces to find out why I do this. Uh, adding the beautiful red, which is a combination of cadmium red light and uh, lizum crimson. And then I started adding uh, a variation of different tones and hues to give it a, a little bit more shape and kind of go back through and just kind of finish blocking everything out um, just to give myself a little base. Uh, this is in oils, by the way. Uh, some people work multiple days, multiple weeks on oil paintings. These small ones I tend to do wet and wet technique. So I'll get the base layers on. Then I go back in and continue to add layers, uh, thicker over thinner, uh, makes it uh, much easier to paint that way instead of thick over thin, which means the paint is thin, thinned down with whether it's uh, oil medium, such as just straight up linseed oil or a combination of like Gamazole, paint thinner and uh, linseed oil or combination add stand oil too uh, one to one to one to give it your oils a nice flowy feel but as i work i start adding shadows and some details um, bringing in a feel of texture movement. Uh, this specific mushroom kind of hatches out of what's called an egg. So that's that little little tubular round thing at the bottom. Uh, I work 
in a couple stages to get that right so it kind of looks like it's wrapping around. Uh, it's not quite done. Um, And when, when I was doing that drawing, I, was, I don't know, I was doing some fun things with these kind of like weird fiery things. These, this is not representation of the actual mushroom. These little like fiery wisps that I'm painting right now do not happen in real life on, on these kind of mushrooms. But I thought it was kind of a fun interpretation. Um, uh, these mushrooms are slightly hallucinogenic, but they are poisonous. So do not eat Amanita mascara, otherwise known as fly agaric. You will trip, but you will get sick, and it's not a pleasant thing from what I hear. I've never tried it. Um, But yeah, this is just a, again, like I said, a, a nice little graphic-y mushroom here. Um, just playing around with the background, just adding another layer of color just to give it a variety. Uh, went with a lighter bottom, a little slightly darker top. Uh, not, not too much, but kind of fill it all in. I just wanted some some little wisp of grass just to add a layer of depth to it. So it's almost like you take a picture and it's super blurry in the background because you're using a uh, low number aperture. So you get that clean, crisp thing and then just a few things are in focus as it were. Um, these mushrooms also have these little, I don't know what they're called, but they're little, little white warts or pox or whatever there. Uh, it's part of the growing process and, and this mushroom will eventually cap out to look more like a portobello, but with that bright, bright red. So it's, it's kind of a cool, cool thing. And there you have it, that is uh, the mushroom. Here's a close look. I feel like that was definitely a success. The final product. We've got to get this autofocus figured out because, well, that's what it's doing. So obviously, this painting is available. I'm gonna get a website remade here soon. So uh, stick around for that. Otherwise, if you like this painting and you would like to purchase it, a mere 50 bucks, unframed, plus shipping. So I'm shipping, I don't know, 10 bucks. So I promised. I promised I would vlog at the end of this. So if you were here just for the art, feel free, knock off, go watch another art video. I've got a playlist with all my time lapses on it, or at least some of them, a lot of mushroom ones. Go watch uh, How I Painted Morels. Um, there's a lot of fun ones. How to Paint Morels Better, um, Destroying Angel Mushrooms, um, you name it. I've probably painted them, so why don't you go watch those? But for me, I'm not a full-time artist in any right. I'd like to be, maybe eventually, but I do have a day job. Uh, the 18th was the first day I um, worked at home, now full-time since then. Um, I work in engineering, yeah, art engineering, I know, I understand. Um, but it's been, been a little challenging. Uh, I like to go out, go eat out, sometimes go for happy hour. Um, so this has been a little challenging for me. You know, 
I am technically an introvert, but I'm really kind of an extroverted introvert, which if that makes sense. I like to be around people, I like to observe, I like to learn from the people around me. And um, so just sitting at home has been challenging. But I have also dedicated to uh, working out as much as I can at home, sit-ups, push-ups, frogs, um, some other yoga type stuff. Got a little weight bench downstairs that I'm trying to use as much as possible. The puppy, walking the puppy every day when it's not raining or yeah, snowing like it did last night into this morning. Um, and besides that, I have been getting the yard ready, the gardens ready for planting this spring. Uh, I'm even getting a compost pile going. Trying to also get stuff done around the house. You know, we're trying to keep the kitchen clean, uh, cook a lot. Uh, we have taken out a couple times, whether it's pizza or fresh pasta from our friend who owns the Bungalow Club. If you're in Minnesota, go to the Bungalow Club when you can. Anyway, that's just a plug for a friend. He's awesome. And the other dedication when outdoor activities aren't good, being in the studio at least three times, four times a week, getting some stuff done, getting some YouTube stuff done. Those are the things that are important to me. Also reading, reading, doing a lot of reading, trying not to watch TV as it were, uh, and only doing some video games here and there just to, just to relax the brain from all the other stuff, you know, as an escape. I think I have a puppy trying to get in to the studio? No, nope. I got a cat trying to get into the studio other than the cat that's sleeping right there, but she's awesome because she just sleeps. I would love to challenge everybody to do stuff other than just vegging on the couch watching TV. Learn new skills. I'm hoping that's why you come to my channel to learn new skills get inspired, hopefully. Um, I guess that's kinda, kinda where I'm at, you know? Uh, it's a weird time, isn't it? Weird time. And as an artist, I wanna capture some of this because there's no other time in history at least modern history that we've had to deal with such a global thing since like World War II. I don't know. Would anybody be interested in some of the other projects I do outside of the art stuff? Garden, I'm gonna be starting seeds probably this week. Um, let me know in the comments. I'll probably be more succinct in the next video. I'm gonna try to do more videos. I know nobody wants to hear about this much more, so let's just leave it at that. My messy studio, I'm gonna get cleaned, or is getting cleaned again. Um, painting these walls are a goal, uh, painting the bedroom finishing up some other projects around the house. So you guys have a great day. Have a good sequester as it were. Get outside, go for walks. That's allowed in this kind of situation. Do it, just do it. Go outside, have some fun, and we'll see you on the next video.